Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2 and today we have got something a little bit different uh, and it comes in the form of the previous weapon, the Madhouse. Um, now this is the Incinerator and uh, apart from having an absolutely awesome name this thing is pretty unique because uh, this has now been turned into a flamethrower so it obviously still fires bullets as you can see but the, uh, the whole point of this is these bullets explode uh, just in front of you uh, and actually turn into flames and it does look, there you go, that looks like a flamethrower. This is absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's quite hard to use, it's like a kind of a flacker kind of situation. You can't be too close but you can't be too far away. If you just hit the sweet spot, this thing absolutely um, rips through any enemy. Um, so it's absolutely brilliant. So um, yeah, it's created by Exotech. We'll go ahead over to the GitHub now and I'll show you exactly how to get it. So this will be linked directly in the description, but uh, just in case uh, you head over to the Borderlands uh, GitHub, click on Borderlands 2 mods and then go down to Exotech 909 and then click on the Incinerator. It's right over there and uh, this will take you to the main uh, page of it. Now a few things to note, um, it is a legendary assault rifle from Bandit. Um, and it replaces the madhouse as I've said shoots highly volatile bullets that explode in fire limited range It's a flamethrower after all increased damage increased elemental effect damage greatly increased elemental effect chance And there's just that note under it that you need to be aware of be sure to get this or give this gun with the fire element only all other elements will be removed by sanity check so make sure you get this in the fire element before doing it and then of course all you've got to do then is just save it as uh, incinerator.txt or something like that and then go in game and enable it um, using the console command so as you can see I've got myself a fire element madhouse right here and uh, we're going to be going ahead and opening the console commands and executing incinerator.txt now that will change it to this um, now again it's worth noting although this is actually applied uh, with some weapons it is best to just uh, save and quit out and come back in just to make sure everything uh, applies properly so I'll go ahead and do that right now because uh, with certain weapons like the all or nothing um, although it changes the skin it looks right in game it actually changes the name and things it doesn't actually apply the, uh, the one shot kill kind of thing um, so yeah, there you go. This is the full effect of the flamethrower. It's absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love this thing. I'm smiling now even uh, watching it. I just never thought we'd have a flamethrower in Borderlands 2. It's, uh, it's pretty damn awesome actually. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give this thing a try out. So my testing grounds for this weapon is obviously in Sawtooth Cauldron, as you've seen from previous clips. Um, now I'm using Axton for this, um, this would probably be, uh, well it'd be absolutely awesome with Maya, um, I do recommend obviously uh, taking some magic missiles or some kind of slag grenade or a weapon just to get the enemies uh, nice and purple before you rip through them with fire. Uh, it does work pretty well with, uh, you know, without them being slagged, uh, obviously enemies with high shields and things like that can be a little bit tricky, but if you get the, uh, the right distance from them, get them slagged up. Um, well, they're just absolutely chaos. I mean, these grave diggers do normally have an absolutely high as hell HP. But you can see right there, once he'd got a bit of slag on him, he soon disappeared. As soon as his shield went, it was pretty much KO for him. Like I said, it's all about finding that sweet spot. Um, this is one of the first times I tried this thing out. So, uh, obviously, you get better with time. Like I said, it's like the flacker. You can't stand too close, but you can't stand too far away or it won't work properly. But, uh, yeah, just try it out. Enjoy it and uh, hopefully get yourself uh, used to it and this thing can be very very powerful the only trouble with it is you will be constantly looking for ammo for it because uh, although I filled up on ammo before this it does soon go down the fire rate is absolutely ridiculous on this thing when it wants to be uh, and it soon rips through ammo so make sure uh, you're never too far from an ammo vendor because you will need to fill up on it but uh, yeah anyway there you go guys there's a now a flamethrower in Borderlands 2 thanks to Exotech that is the uh, legendary incinerator um, modded assault rifle um, and uh, yeah hopefully go ahead and uh, get yourself uh, quick with that and give it a try and have some fun so thank you guys for watching really hope you've enjoyed another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2 and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next one